Hey y'all. So my name is Adaisha Monet. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is day four of Vlogmas. So for day four of Vlogmas, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do question answer. So I posted some questions on my answer. Well, I posted on my Instagram. Let's do some question answers, whatever, and we're gonna see what kind of questions I got. So let's get it started. All right. So, question number one. What's your favorite food? Um, my favorite food is crabs. I love crabs. Yep, shrimp and crabs. They real good. My favorite seafood restaurant to get crabs is called Hot and Spicy. So good in Tampa, Florida. No, hot and crazy. Hot and crazy. So good. It's in Tampa, Florida. Um, and it's on Bloomingdale. They a good price and it's real good. Like at a point in time, I literally went there once a week. Like, yeah, it's that good. Next question. Let's see. Are you single? No, I'm not single. I am currently in a relationship. We've been talking since 2019. Been going together since probably January 2020. Yep. Next thing. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is black. That's why I always wear black. That's why in my business stuff, it's always has some black and another color i love black favorite colors what you doing, black girl? can you please stop doing that bro at this point i'm convinced um my boyfriend don't want me to be great because in every video he just has to talk he has to be involved some kind of way so yeah but like i was saying look at because he Blew me. Okay. I don't know. Look at him. Dang, what would I do? I ain't gonna know where I sat right here. Did he steal it? <sighs> All right, I'm back. Guess where the wine was at? right next to me the whole time crazy anywho like I was saying my favorite colors are black pink and gold so yeah but it's majority black then gold then pink anyways let's get back to these questions cause I was just Anyways, I should be single. I should. All right, next question. What is my dream vacation? Um, my dream vacation, I think, is. I mean, I got a few people, places I want to go. I want to go to Dubai. I want to go to Bali. I want to go to Spain. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to... Bali, Paris. Paris. I want to go everywhere. So if it was up to me, I would travel all my life. Yep. That's why my boyfriend needs to be a millionaire. So I can just travel. But... And my favorite place is Costa Rica. I went there one time when me and my boyfriend first met each other. 
and it was just so fun like we didn't do nothing but it was just peaceful relaxing and we went on a vacay and we got a rental car we drove everywhere so like from our hotel to our excursions was like an hour I mean, like four or five hour drive in the mountains, but it was fun. That happened way back when I first decided that I wanted to be a YouTuber. So I actually do got some videos of that that I could actually post because I was like vlogging the whole trip, but I just never posted it. So that's something that I can post, but it was very, very, very nice, very peaceful. And those long drives in the mountains and back to the hotel. We just talked and got to know each other. So, yeah, I really liked it. But Costa Rica will be my second home. Just need to learn a little Spanish. But I like it. Um, the next question is, so basically my dream vacation is everywhere to answer that question. Really, Bali. I really, really, really want to go to Bali. And I really, 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 really want to go to Spain. And I want to go back to Costa Rica. I just don't be wanting to sell on that plane for Bali and Dubai. But whatever. Um, Next question. Missionary or doggy style? You're very disrespectful for asking that. I'm not telling you my business. I am a lady. Dogs or cats? Dogs. I don't like cats. Cats be beating people up. They be swinging on. Mm -mm. They be mean and stuff. I don't like cats. No. I got two dogs. I have a Yorkie and I have a game pick. Um, flowers or edible arrangements? Why do I have to pick? Why can't I get both? When I first met my boyfriend, he used to buy me them every week. I either get flowers or edible arrangements. He'll rotate. So, therefore, I feel that I do not have to pick. I deserve both. Football or basketball? I don't know what be going on in either one. But if I was to choose a game, and if I get to choose whatever seats I want, first of all, if I'm going to choose a game, no matter what seat I get, I'm going to pick basketball because... It's indoors. Who want to be in the sun? I want to go to both, though. But I really like one of my bucket list things is to get floor seats at a basketball game. So if you're looking for a Christmas present for me, give me floor seats at a basketball game. <laughs> All right. Um, would I take my man on the date? Yes, the fuck? Like, I don't understand what kind of question that is. Of course I would take my man on the date. Like, you spoil me, I spoil you. Great. You gotta... Glad to hear it. See, see, it don't matter how this is. Anyways, but yes, I would take and I have took in my boyfriend on dates, vacations, all of that, like. My boyfriend treats me like a princess, like a queen. He treats me like I've never been treated. Like, he opened all the doors for me. He do everything. So, of course, I'm going to return the favor. So, yes, I believe in taking, like, taking my man on a date. Because if he's just the only one taking me on dates, basically it's going to be like all I'm doing is getting, getting, getting. And not giving anything. And then all he's doing is giving and not receiving. So that's not fair on his behalf. So I do have to show my appreciation. I do have to take him on dates from time to time. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. Never get too comfortable. 
always supposed to make it spontaneous. So I think you are supposed to treat your boyfriend good. You are supposed to treat him on dates. And I do so. Next question. Will you cook without an assistant? I think this person was trying to be funny. But yes, I could cook without an assistant. I cook very good. But if you just sit in there, I might ask for some help. So if you just sit in there and I'm in this kitchen and I'm tired, I'm going to say go ahead and peel the potatoes for me. Go ahead and shred some cheese for me. I'm still going to do all the work. You're just helping me out a little bit. You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with a little help. Ain't nothing wrong with a little help. All right, next. Chicken or steak? Both. When I go to Kobe's, I get chicken, shrimp, and steak. When I go to Green Lemon, I get chicken, shrimp, and steak. I always get everything. I'm extra. Why do I have to limit myself to what I want? Why do I have to pick? I want both. Mm. Seafood or soul food? Mm. Both. Because, like, if I'm going to go to a restaurant and I got to pick between a seafood restaurant and a soul food restaurant, most likely I'm going to pick the seafood restaurant. I know that sounds crazy, but most likely I'm going to pick the seafood restaurant over the soul food restaurant because it's like, I don't know. That's what I'm going to pick. Soul food, I could cook that at home. And then sometimes you go into a soul food restaurant. I put it like this. I haven't found a soul food restaurant yet that I'm fucked up about. That I'm just like, dang, I can't wait to eat this again. Dang, I'm craving this. Dang, I can eat this once a week. Dang, can you, babe, can you please go get me a meal from that? I haven't found that kind of restaurant. I do. I did find a restaurant. The one I told y'all about. Babe, you'll go get me some seafood. Babe, can we go, can we go eat crabs? So, until I find that um, soul food restaurant that could get me like that, I'm 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 a pick seafood over soul food. Um, next question: Are you a scammer? No, I'm not a scammer. I am a hardworking woman. I am actually a workaholic. If you know me, you know I'm a workaholic. Like, I will get up early in the morning, work all day until like 9 or 10 at night. When I had a regular 9 to 5 job, I used to wake up in the morning like at 8 or 9, go to work because they always offer unlimited overtime, and I would stay at work until 2 a.m. I like nice things and I don't believe in the word no. I feel like I don't understand no. I feel like everything's reachable. So I'm going to work hard to get whatever I want. There has not been a time that I felt like, oh, I want this, but I can't have it. No, I want this and let me sit down and figure out what I need to do so I could be able to get this. So, no, I'm not a scammer. It's just that I got the same 24 hours you got, but I use my 24 hours wisely. Anywho, next question. What's the favorite part of your, what's your favorite body part? 
my favorite body part on my body is my lips and my booty because they're nice it's actually my lips my booty and my titties i like that i ain't got no titties i don't want big titties i like that they small and i like that my booty big and i like that my lips are full and i like that I am natural, I guess you could say that. I, I like that those parts are natural. Hold on, wait, I said that wrong too because I, I ain't got no surgeries. So, I like that my booty was naturally big and I like that my lips were naturally big. Now, I feel like nothing's wrong with surgery. Just don't get too much. If I was not blessed with the booty that I got, I probably would have got my booty done. If I was not blessed with the lips I got, I probably would have got my booty, my lips done too. But luckily I'm blessed, so I don't got to touch those things. Um, Do I have lip fillers? No, I do not. This is a question that I have been asked before. And no, I don't have lip fillers. These are my real lips. I'm just blessed. I like them just as much as you do, sweetheart. <laughs> um, is my booty real? I just said yes. Um, but I will be getting surgery soon. I'm not touching my booty though. I'm getting my stomach done. I want to get 360 lipo in January. I might vlog it. I haven't decided. But yeah, I know my booty gonna look fake for real then because like all the attention gonna be off my stomach at that point because it's gonna be snatched. But to answer the question, yes, my booty is real. There's nothing wrong with surgery. I will be getting surgery on my stomach. January 16th, stay tuned for the snatched stomach. What's your favorite uh, perfume? My favorite perfume. I think right now. My favorite perfume is. The Baccarat Miss with the Chanel. I don't know. I think so. Hold on, let me show y'all. So right now, my favorite perfume is this Baccarat mixed with this Chanel. It's a hit. It's a hit. It's a hit, it's a hit look. It's a hit. I can't believe this fool. But this fool like this because I got this for a Valentine's Day gift. And when my boyfriend bought me this, he bought me the travel size too. So I spray this in the house, but I take the travel size outside. So that's why this still full, but it smells so good. And this was a Christmas gift. So, yep, these are my two favorites right now, I guess, because I always put this on together. I be trying to switch it up sometimes, but I don't. All right, next. What is your favorite lip combo? So, my favorite lip combo is the um, Morphe Trendsetter for a lip liner. And um, really any cream lip gloss i get my hand on like it has to be like a nudish creamish color as long as it's nude and cream i don't care what color it is when i got on that lip liner that morphe lip liner with whatever else it don't even matter as long as i got that morphe lip liner and it's some kind of nude right now my everyday lip gloss is this dior lip gloss um i be feeling like sometimes i be, be too bougie so I tried to tone it down a little bit because my favorite lip oil before this was um, 
the hourglass lip oil and the hourglass lip oil is fifty dollars but it feels so good and then it's like got a gold tip it's so good and then the tip make it cold when it go across your lips <sighs> ain't nothing beating that so i was like you know what that's being extra you're buying fifty dollar lip oil how about let's take it down a notch let's go to the 35 dollar lip oil and guess what it ain't shitting on it so guess what i'm going back to after this go matter of fact during the sephora sale i already bought another one the hourglass one so i went back to what i know sister girl so yeah my favorite everyday lip gloss is that right now. And then I'm going back to Hourglass, of course. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but it still ain't shitting on the Hourglass one. So, um, my everyday lip gloss is the Hourglass. But when it comes to a lip combo, it's that Morphe Trendsetter with... these are some nudes that i got so one of them is all good from morphe another one is creamer from um dominique cosmetic dominique cosmetic now when it comes to just lip gloss like not lip oil but lip gloss dominique cosmetic got the best lip gloss my actual favorite lip gloss is the peach tea from dominique cosmetic I lost mine one time on vacation, and I've been trying to buy another one for the longest, and they never have them. Matter of fact, let's see if they still have them. Because I know for a long time I've been looking for that. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked, but y'all just reminded me. Let me just check the trap, because she don't never um, have it. Dominique Cosmetics. Mm. She changed her website a little bit fancy. Um, but while I'm doing other stuff that ain't got nothing to do with what I supposed to be doing per usual, um, let's see what is the next question. The next question is, let's see, we did re booty real, yes, lip fillers, no, give me some favorite color. The next question is, how do I feel about 50-50? Let's get on this topic. So, how I feel about being 50-50 in a relationship The older I get, the more I'm trying. I'm starting to see why some men don't like 50-50. But at the same time, you should know your girl. So, granted, and my and my, how I want my relationship to be, and how I feel like it should be, and my fairy tale world, and how. I want to be as a wife and as a girlfriend is for me to not pay the bills, basically. So, no, I don't think that we should go 50-50. I feel like you should pay the major bills, well, the major bill, which is the mortgage. And then I should pay the utilities and like my credit card bill, you pay your credit card bill and the car payment and all that. Or you can pay, no, I think my fairy tale world, you'll pay everything. So in my fairy tale world, you will pay the mortgage, the HOA, the cable bill, the car insurance, the phone bill, the light bill, 
every day. And then I will do like pay for the food for the house. I'm fun and I'm very creative. So I will keep everything else spontaneous. Um, I will buy us clothes all the time and do all the rest of the stuff. But I feel like the man's supposed to pay the bills. I don't know. Maybe not all them bills, but like pay most of them. Like just give me a certain amount of money a month and make sure everything paid. Like for example, in my situation right now, how my bills is, if you was to give me $2,000 a month, that would be enough and I could pay the rest. But that'll be a good amount to give me, like, give me $2,000 a month. I'll pay a good amount of the bills. And then whatever left, I will pay on my own, too. So, like, yeah. But, and then, like, trips, vacations. I'm the one who, like, I love going places. Not saying my boyfriend don't. He be down for the shits, too. Whenever I be like, okay, babe, I want to go here. He be like, okay, plan it. I'll give you the money. I like that. But, you know. It could be like that, or I could just plan it and pay for it. It don't matter. But I do feel like the man should pay majority of the bills. So even if he was to give me two thousand dollars or twenty five, let's say he give me twenty five a month, my car. I'm the one who got the high car payment, so that'll take care of my car payment, my mortgage, and like the HOA. That's good. That's like the mortgage, the HOA, and the cable. And then everything else I would pay for. And then plus, I'm the one who could keep, like, the experience, everything fresh, keep us doing stuff. Because I love to try new restaurants. I like to do new stuff. Like, I like doing a lot of stuff. So, I keep everything else going. But I don't believe in 50-50 because, like, if I got to wake up, like, I'm not, I don't like that. Because you want me to clean up, you want me to cook. I want to clean up and I want to cook. Like, that's what I want to do too. I want to clean up and cook just as much as you want me to clean up and cook. But if we're going 50-50, then why am I doing most of the work? Then on top of that, y'all might be mad at this, but women are smarter than men. Men are smart, but women are smarter. So it's also my job. You're the provider. It's my job to keep everything organized. So basically, I'm your assistant. You just bring in the money, and I make sure the money get laid out how it's supposed to get laid out. I make sure we good for the future. I make sure everything is good in our life. I just make sure everything is good. So you provide, you bust your ass, and... I just sit here and be cute and keep make sure everything stay organized. Now, the reason why I said, but also through all this that I'm talking about, I'm not saying that I'm a stay at home person. I'm still working too. So we both bringing in income. You could have more income than me or I could have more income than you. It don't matter who made more money. We both need to be bringing in money, a lot of money. But you pay majority of the bills, and I make sure we secure for the future. The reason why I say this is because, you know what, I need to stop saying that women are smarter than men. Because I've been running into a lot of dumb bitches lately. I've been r r running into a lot of people who are not as smart as I thought they was. So I could kind of understand why men do what they do sometimes. So I can't base my situation and me off on other people. But based on me, because I know how I'm coming as a woman, I feel like my man should be the provider. My man should make the most of the money. And I know I could set us up and make sure that we have a lot of money in the future. I'm gonna make the smarter, like the smart business moves to make sure that we're building a empire here. So when I say that I want my man to pay all the bills, it's because I feel like I'm gonna do smarter stuff with my money than he would. So I would rather him pay the bills 
and stack the money. And I stack the money. And I make sure that everything stays in order and I make sure we have rainy day money and I make sure we budget and I make sure that we still have um, money for to have fun and live and also have money put up for if anything happened, emergency money. And I'm also not that type of woman to sit on my butt. So even if, let's say he was paying every single bill we had, I still would not sit down at home and let him take care of me and pay every single bill that we had and I just cook and clean. If he was to pay every single bill that we got, I would still get up and go to work every day. I own my own business. I will still run my business and still work. I wouldn't work as much. I would probably be part-time because I don't have to be, because I'm a workaholic. So being a workaholic means I work more than full-time. So therefore, if that was the case and he paid all the bills, I would only work full-time instead of working crazy. So therefore, and then plus I, I'm ready to start another business, but I had basically, I did grind mode, crunch time and focused on one business. Now I am finally fully staffed at my salon and all my rent rooms are booked. So that's why I feel like I could go get my body done. After I get my body done, then it's going to be time to save money again and focus on the next business that I want to start. So, um, yeah, so that's the difference between me and other females. But I do see why, like, for example, when Gorilla said, oh, I feel like women should go 50-50 because if you don't go 50-50, then he going to take care of you and he going to do this, he going to do that. Then he going to feel like um, he could do whatever he want to. And then plus you going to get lazy because you so used to a man taking care of you. I do see what she mean. And I feel like that is true. But each situation is different. So, I have saw women who just sit back and let a man take care of them and they don't do nothing. Then, if they man was to leave, they will be lost and they ain't got no money or nothing. So, I do understand what she mean by that. But me personally, being the woman that I am and moving how I move, it would be okay in my situation. I'm back. But yeah, but anyways, like I was saying, so basically 50-50 depends on the person. So if you know that you and your partner is a good partnership, I feel like the man should pay the bills. If y'all have a good partnership, as in your partner doing what they supposed to do and they not lazy. But some people do need that push. So if you got to tell your girl, like, bruh, I'm not paying 50 because you just want to sit around and be lazy, then I do understand that, too. So, I really feel like 50 50 each is on. But with me, nah. At that point, if we doing 50-50 with a, with a woman like me, if we doing 50-50, you a roommate. So, I didn't need a roommate. I could have did this by myself been doing it by myself yeah don't need no 50 50 if we doing 50 50 you might as well get your own apartment i get my own apartment while well, i own my townhouse so i stay in my house and you get your own apartment and you do what you want to do at your shit and i do what i want to at mine because i pay the bills here but yeah i don't believe in 50 50 i don't believe in equals Cause you the man, you gonna be one to step down, you gonna be one to run shit, and all that. And I'm a little bit of a dominant female, so if we going fifty fifty, you can't tell me what to do, cause we are equal. You can't be all manly and err. If we are equal, I like to depend on my nigga, but also know that I don't need you. I choose to depend on you. Yeah, no. Anywho, two more questions. Last question. I mean, not last question. It's a little lit. It's a little lit. This is three different wines, y'all. This is, I think it's called, I don't know, something with R. It's a red sweet wine. Then it got red, um, 
sangria in here. And it got teleport. It's the teleport that's fucking us up. Bad idea. Okay, it said little baby or dub baby. Little baby, the fuck? Cause little baby is my man. Speaking into existence called manifestation, y'all. Little baby is my man. So little baby. And dub baby is a whole ass nigga like. I'm sorry. Um, it's just my opinion. But he give little, little nigga syndrome, little, little man ego. Because, like, the stuff he do is, yeah, like a female. I hate the fact that he sit up there and he bashed one of his baby mom. Like, whenever he mad, he go to the internet and bash and do all that, like. Little baby, whenever he mad or he going through breakups or whatever, he just sit there quiet. Like, he barely say something. He said something like once or twice. I like silence. I don't like putting people in your business and all that. And the baby shows out. And then how he came out of nowhere with that song with Megan. Like, about Megan talking about he fucked her. Okay. Who cares? And like she said, I'm grown. I do what I want with my body. Like, Exactly. Like, what kind of reaction was you expecting? What did you want? What did you want her to say? Like, what was the point of telling everybody that you had sex with somebody? You happy? That's the best you ever had? Is that the prettiest, baddest girl you ever fucked? Like, what's what you told people for? Keep that shit under. Keep that shit to yourself. I like quiet stuff. I like it when you don't tell nobody your business. I like when people don't like to post their man or the man don't like to post their girlfriend. Like, to me, I like being in La La Land. I like being a delusional. I like being happy. So what I don't know won't hurt me. And it seems like whenever you post your boyfriend or something, all these people come out of nowhere, start saying, oh, I know him, this, this, this. Oh, I know this person, this, this, this. Oh, I know this, 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 this. It's like, I don't want to hear that. Because in my eyes, he is the king of the world. So all that that y'all know or how y'all feel, I don't care. I don't want to hear your opinions. I like how we is when we together behind closed doors. So I like it when nobody know my business. So it's good to keep it that way. Moral of the story, keep people out your business. All right, last question. What's my favorite restaurant? Um, I don't know. Cause I like different restaurants for different things. So like for example, I love Charlie's, but it's that bread and that um that salad that really get me. And that gator. Oh, I think Charlie's my favorite. Because with lemons, I only like their crab cakes and their lemon drop. Oh, they lemon drops. They blueberry lemon drop. Mwah. So good. Then with Ocean Prime. Oh, it might be Ocean Prime. Because I like they sushi. And I like they, um, they got this sweet cornbread with the fish. And they got a drink I like. That's a whole meal. See, with Charlie's, I just like the salad and stuff. Excuse me. And then I like the appetizers. And that Flemish, they stay nasty. I don't see the hype. Eddie V's, I just like they crab, um, fried rice. So I just like different things from different places. Maybe one day I should just go and get like the salad from there. The, the, oh, but Ruth quit lamb chops. So good. Get some Ruth quit lamb chops. Go over there, get some sushi. Mm-mm. 
Maybe next time we do a question and answers, we can make it a mukbang and we can get food from all them places and make a little, I don't know. But yep, yeah, basically I ain't got no favorite restaurant. I just be hungry. And I'm not a picky eater, so feed me and we good. Well, thanks for sitting and listening to me through these questions and answers. If y'all would like for me to do this again, let me know. Sorry for the interruptions. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all want from me. Tell me what y'all want in the next video. And... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm. ah.